What's going on guys, Swag, you're back. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I upload every single day on the channel, football usually. If that's your thing, you're in the right place. I've covered the Chargers briefly here. I made a video saying that they beat the Chiefs and they lost overtime. It was a hell of a game. I mean, the Chargers should have won that. They just, they went for two for some reason, which I, I kind of can get, but also I can't because they lost in the game. But nonetheless, there's one reason in particular that I am a huge Chargers fan. And it should not come to a surprise. I'll give you a hint. You ready? He wears the number 10. You know who I'm talking about? Austin Eckler? Yes. If you said Austin Eckler, you are correct. No, I'm kidding. Justin Herbert. 23 years old. Won't be 24 until March. That's so young. Think about that. Guys, he threw 38 touchdowns this season. They don't have a good offensive line. They don't have the best coaching. The defense certainly isn't that great. I mean, sure, they're secondary. They've got a guy like a Joey Boza who can do just about anything on a football field. But then they've got guys on their front, and even their linebackers were outside of both. It's like, eh, Linville Joseph is old. He's still productive, but, you know, Justin Jones is not is just not going to get it done for me. And then a Jerry Tillery, who actually does have star potential. He's on 24. But, I mean, it's just their defense doesn't scare me, bro. And I, it certainly doesn't scare NFL-level offenses. Certainly the ones that are in their division. I mean, obviously, the Chiefs, the Broncos, if they bring in a quarterback and Aaron Rodgers, they've got Javante Williams and Judy and Sutton and Kamler. And all, you don't need me to tell you that. And then the Raiders. Even the Raiders made the playoffs. They beat the Chargers in the final game of the season. But Justin Herbert, to me, is, he's not a generational talent, but he's damn close to it. I mean, this guy can sling the football. Not only can he sling the football, he's incredible under pressure. And I don't have any stats in front of me. It's just common sense. If you watch him play... There was a point in the season where I looked at his stats, and I know I kind of just said I wasn't looking at stats, and I'm not, technically not, but you know, Pro Football Focus had him higher under pressure than a clean pocket, and he didn't finish that way, but in a clean pocket, and I'll use a stat here or whatever, he finished fifth. He finished fifth, bro. So is Justin Herbert a top five quarterback right now? I think he is, and I stand by it. I'm not a Chargers fan. The Chargers have no meaning in my life. I'm a Colts fan. I should be rooting for them to lose, but I don't root for them to lose because of the amount of respect that I have for a young, high-level football player, and that is Justin Herbert. So I'll tell you guys the quarterbacks that I would take over Herbert right now. I guarantee you there's not five of them. Patrick Mahomes, sure. Lamar Jackson, no. Dak Prescott, hell no. Russ, no. Josh Allen, yes. That's two, right? Kyler Murray, no. And Deshaun Watson, yes. That's three. That's it. Yes, I did not name Aaron Rodgers. I did not name Tom Brady. You put Justin Herbert on the freaking Green Bay Packers, I mean, I don't think they would be that much worse. Aaron Rodgers is a hell of a quarterback. I understand that. But Justin Herbert just threw for 38 touchdowns. And I don't know how many yards he threw. My bad, guys. He threw for uh, five, five, over 5,000 yards. <laughs> like Tom Brady has three Pro Bowl receivers. I mean, no longer. I you was know, a guy when got hurt, and then AB decided to just leave in the middle of the game. But... Still, I mean, Justin Herbert on the Bucks would be a joke, bro. It would it would be laughable how many points like they would put up a game. I mean, they, the Bucks they they've got Fournette, but they just they're a pass team. I mean, they why wouldn't they when you have all those weapons? Not even including Gronkowski and we off the line. I mean, that's it. Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, and Deshaun Watson are, in my opinion, the only quarterbacks better than Justin Herbert. And that's not even including that Justin Herbert is twenty three. He'll be twenty four in two months. He's young. I mean, so are some of these guys. I, everyone that I think is pretty much young in their mid twenties. But it's not like Justin Herbert is twenty six years. He's literally about to be twenty four. Like he's not even in his prime yet, and he's doing it. It's unbelievable. I did not expect to just talk about Justin Herbert this whole video. I might as well though. Like he's bro. I just, words don't explain. Like when I see a player like that, I just roll with it. You know, like not to use a basketball example, but like John Morant. You know, Justin Herbert. You know, he doesn't have the athleticism, obviously. He's going to, you know, rush for over 300 yards. But he, he's he's basically kind of in a similar situation to where he's must-see TV. Like, every time Justin Herbert's on, you should be watching him if you like football, or at least following what's going on. And the rest of the offense is not too shabby either. I'm looking at a guy like an Austin Eckler. And, you know, honestly, I'm going to drop this video on Thursday, bro. I said Friday. I don't really, I don't give two S-H-I-T-S. I'm, I'm just – I'm going to drop this video today because – I don't know how many people really make Charger videos, but now that I think about it, like, their offense is unbelievable, bro. Keenan Allen, you guys know him. 
Mike Williams finally broke out and relatively safe. I'd say he's safe healthy. When Mike Williams is on the, on the football field, he's, he's one of the most productive players that you'll see. And then another wide receiver that doesn't never gets talked about unless you're a Charger fan is Jalen uh, Guyton, if I'm saying that correctly. Dude's got speed. He's a deep threat receiver. I don't remember. I think it was the Giants. I could be wrong in that. But I started him in a $300 fantasy football league, play, you know, playing for over two grand. I started Jalen Guy in, and he just he caught a huge touchdown. Like I was, I, I saw what happened too. I literally saw the play a lot. It was unbelievable, bro. Austin Eckler, threw out over twenty touchdowns last season. I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to keep that up because he's five ten, not that five ten sh- small or anything. But I mean, five ten, two hundred pounds for an NFL running back at twenty six to be getting those type of touch. Actually, he might even be twenty seven. I think he might be twenty seven. But it says twenty six on my screen. I think he's twenty seven. I could be wrong, but. To be getting that many touches, I mean, honestly, did he get that many touches though? I think, I think at five ten he can handle. I don't, I, I don't have the numbers. Sorry about that, guys. But I, the amount of touches he had, I, I remember I was listening to a podcast. I think it was yesterday, and that honestly fits his, him well. I mean, he obviously wasn't getting Derrick Henry level of touches or anything like that. But I think he'll be fine. I don't really have any concern with Austin Eckler. And then, as I mentioned, the offensive line just isn't that great. I mean, sure, they've got one of the best rookies in Rashawn Slater. They've got a veteran, uh, Corey Lindsey. And then outside of that, there's not much. And you know, Jared Cook is basically a red zone tight end. I mean, he's 6'5", 34. He's, he's he's still pretty quick for not old. He's for his age, he's pretty quick. But yeah, that's it. I mean, again, this is not the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense. This isn't I mean, Green Bay Packers offense. Honestly, isn't even that great. I mean, they've got some good backs and their offensive line though. A lot of backups and they had a rookie. Like I don't know the Packers. The Packers they separate themselves with their defense and coaching, like Matt Lafleur and like Coach Flores. And then defensively, you know, I talked about it briefly, and not not too much, but Boza, Derwin, Asante Samuel. I guess you can't really throw anyone. I mean, Natterly, I don't know if you can. I don't, you can't throw Samuel in those those guys here. But I'm just naming guys off that I really like in this defense. They they need a better pass rush, bro. That's the thing. They need O line and a pass rush. I don't how they do that is your guys call up, I mean, draft or free agent. I'm not exactly sure. But they, they do need to address that. But the reason why I decided to make this video is because Justin Herbert is a stud. And also the Chargers, I can't believe they didn't make the playoffs because they could beat anyone. We saw them go head-to-head. They clashed with the Chiefs and they lost that game in overtime. So, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Though, man. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Like I said, I'm going to drop this on Thursday. I don't see a point to drop it on Friday. Like, Chargers fans, if you uh, did make it to the end, I appreciate you. Uh, if you want me to... Make more Charger content, let me know. I'm trying to see like which NFL franchises, organizations, fans watch me. So if that's the Chargers, I'll keep rolling with it, like I said. So yeah, peace out. Hey, my guy right there on the screen, you yes, sir.